Uh, I think everything is ready, so I can start. Yes, yes, everything is okay. Okay. Uh, first of all, thank you all for coming to listen to us today. Uh, firstly, I want to introduce my fellow colleagues, Ali Demir, Jan Jangir, Özemir. They are with us today. And today we are going to talk about our newly established pre-predator model, which we named Modified Holding Tunnel Type 2 model. And uh, we will talk about the stability analysis of this model, as well as the delayed uh, version of the model. OK, uh, we will continue with some introduction parts. After that, I will introduce our new model, uh, the modified holding tenor model. And we will see the stability analysis of this model and the delayed versions uh, stability analysis. And we will continue with some numerical simulations. And we will conclude our work uh, and we will finalize uh, this today. So uh, there are many pre-predator models in the literature and they are used for to explain the true interactions and dynamics between prey and predator species, uh, as well as the changes of the populations of the species through time. Uh, Holding Toner model is one of these models actually, and its origins is based on the generalized Gauss model. In the late 50s, Holling suggests this model, and after some modifications of the tenor, uh, this model uh, finally is referred to as a Holling tenor model in the literature. Uh, you can see now two dimensional dynamical system, uh, which we can say it is the classical Holling tenor model. In here, X represents the prey populations. Uh, uh, prey population, and Y is the predator population here. Of course, I should mention the LA effect here. Uh, the term X minus N in the first equation is uh, represented to the LA effect, and it is uh, basically used for the explain some biological phenomena, uh, which are uh, ability of surviving uh, or ability of finding mates. This kind of similar biological phenomena are uh, trying to explain with LA effects. Uh, in this work, we aim to establish a new uh, prey predator model uh, inspired by classical holding tender model. And we aim to analyze and obtain the stability conditions of this model and the delayed version of the model, as well as uh, to obtain the conditions of the whole bifurcation. Uh, and now I can introduce our newly established model. Uh, we uh, established three dimensional uh, dynamical system here. Uh, X and Y are the prey species. In uh, meantime, uh, Z are the only predator species in our ecological system. Uh, predator Z can eat both prey. Uh, meantime, there is no interaction between prey species. And as you can see, we only use LA effect for the uh, only first species, which is X. And now you can see the delayed version of our model. Uh, as you can see, we use the delay parameter two for only the predator species Z. In order to realize the situation that predator population needs some time to uh, birth to predation, and this means that a newborn predator species needs some time to grow old enough to predate on its own and to be represented mathematically in the predation function. So uh, we can continue with the stability analysis of the model. And in this dynamical system, we have three different equilibrium points. And in the E1 and E2, there is no predator species. Meantime, in the E3, we can observe some uh, coexistence state of all three species here. Of course, in order to realize a realistic biological model, uh, we only consider the non-negative non values of E3, and we analyze this. Uh, in order to analyze the stability of these equilibrium points. Uh, firstly, we start with uh, finding the Jacobian matrix of the dynamical system. We can write the J matrix dependent on alphas, as you can see here. And by using that, we can establish our characteristic equation on the followings, depending on betas here. Uh, 
To decide the stability of these equilibrium points, uh, we will use this characteristic equation and we will start with uh, substituting E1 and E3 separately into the characteristic equation. These are uh, uh, similar equilibrium points because there's no predator species and both prey populations are at the limit of the carrying capacity of the habitat. Obviously, we can use the Ruturis criterion here to decide the stability of these equilibrium points. And we can say that if these three conditions are satisfied, our equilibrium points uh, E1 and E2 are stable under these conditions. And you can see the conditions here. And we can say that our dynamical system uh, is stable at these equilibrium points under these conditions. Similarly, we can substitute the E3 into the characteristic equation and we can find the followings. And also we can say that uh, Ruturis criterions hold here as uh, these three conditions are satisfied. Our equilibrium point E3 is stable under these conditions. Now we can look at the delayed model stability analysis. To be a reminder, I want to say that we only use the delay parameter to here for the predator species Z, and which means there is no delay condition at E1 and E3, E2, pardon. And so uh, the investigation of E3 with delay conditions are performed only. In order to decide the stability of the dynamical system around the equilibrium point A3, we uh, used uh, this uh, following uh, equation to obtain the characteristic equation, actually. Uh, here, J0 is the Jacobian of the dynamical system with respect to the non-delay variables, uh, whereas the, the J2 is the Jacobian with respect to the variables with delay. And later, we can write our uh, J0 dependent on alphas, as you can see here. And similarly, we can write J2 dependent on thetas like this. Uh, by using these two, we can uh, obtain our characteristic equation of the delayed uh, system, as you can see here. So in order to investigate E3, we should consider three, uh, two different cases here. In the first case, uh, we will uh, look at the um, tau values where tau equals to zero. And we will uh, substitute uh, tau equals zero into the characteristic equation here. And similarly, we can use the Ruturis criterion and we can say that these uh, three conditions are satisfied. The dynamical system is stable at equilibrium three. In the second case, we should consider the tau values where tau not equal to zero. And assuming that uh, omega i are the roots of the characteristic equation of the delay system, and substituting this into the characteristic equation, uh, we can obtain the following. And by using the Euler formula, we can separate the real and imaginary parts. And uh, help of these two equations, we can obtain the last following equation here. After that, we will suppose that uh, u equals to the omega square here. And we will define our h function dependent on u and p, uh, as you can see here. After some provings, uh, after provings for different lemmas, we will obtain our main theorem, but we didn't mention the proofs and lemmas here due to our time concerns of the presentation. So I will directly mention the main theorem here. Uh, we can uh, see that tau zero is our critical tau value of the equilibrium points. And we will suppose that our root Hurwitz criterions are hold. So we will uh, see our three different parts of the main theorem. In the first part, we can say that if these two conditions are hold, the equilibrium point E3 is stable. In the second part, uh, similarly, we can say that if these two uh, different parts of conditions are satisfied, we can say that our equilibrium point E3 is stable for tau values 
between zero and two zero. Uh, whereas it may behave uh, unstable for two values between two zero and two one. In the third part, we can see that if these conditions are hold, our dynamical system undergoes a half bifurcation at the equilibrium point E3 when tau value is equal to the critical tau value tau zero. Of course, in order to support our theoretical results, we do some uh, numerical simulations on MATLAB. And in order to do that, we select uh, some parameters and we establish our selected system here, as you can see on the right. For the selected system, we can find two different positive equilibrium E3 uh, points. Uh, E3A is a stable equilibrium point here, means uh, while E3E is uh, an unstable one. And also, as you can see, we will uh, we calculated the critical tau value tau zero for the stable equilibrium point E3A. Now we can observe some graphics. In the first figure, we can observe the behavior of the dynamical system for the uh, for a lesser tau value than the critical tau value. Uh, you may see. Uh, all of the three species uh, comes to the equilibrium point after some time periods. In the second figure, we can observe uh, the behavior of the dynamical system for a critical tau, tau value. As you can see, uh, the oscillation starts uh, for this critical tau value. And in the uh, third figure, we can observe the system for a greater tau value than the critical tau value. We can see the periodic uh, solutions. And uh, we can see our system for the same tau value, but in a longer time period in the figure four. Of course, we can see some two dimensional phase portraits for changing tau values here. And also we can see three-dimensional phase portraits again for changing tau values. Uh, to be a discussion part of the uh, numerical simulations, we can say that all three species comes to the equilibrium point after some time in the figure one. And E3A is an asymptotically stable uh, equilibrium point uh, when tau is lesser than the critical tau value, which we observed in uh, figure one. Also, we observed uh, in the figure two, uh, our dynamical system exhibits the Hoff bifurcation at the equilibrium point E3A when tau equals to the critical tau value, tau zero. Uh, for the greater tau values than the critical tau value, tau zero, uh, our system periodic solutions bifurcating around the equilibrium point E3A. And this bifurcation is named as supercritical bifurcation as bifurcating period solutions surrounds an unstable equilibrium point. So to sum up, we can say that all uh, results obtained from the numerical simulations match with the theoretical uh, findings. And uh, to be a conclusion in this work, we established a new uh, prey predator model and we named modified following tenor type two model. And also we analyzed the stability conditions uh, of this model as well as the delayed uh, version of the model. And uh, we obtained the stability conditions uh, and also the conditions of the half bifurcation here. We support our findings with the numerical simulations and the simulations shows us that our findings match uh, with our results. So thank you for listening to me today. Thank you for your attention. Uh, thank you very much for your uh, extremely, extremely good talk, uh, Professor uh, Takarya. Uh, Thank you. Is there any comment or question or remark regarding the presentation of the professor? There's no question. Uh, okay, then. Thank you very much. I will stop my sharing. Thank you, Elad. Yes, professor. Please, uh, you can close your uh, screen share. Uh, okay.
voice also thank you uh, and at the moment